Howdy folks. So I've run into an issue with putting my battery pack together. So I have here the on my computer the spec sheet for the uh, EVE cells, the 280 amp hour EVE cells. And it says the pole is a double aluminum pole structure. The internal screw with size M6 is used in the poles. The anti-torsion of pole is 8 newton meters. The torsion should be less than 8 newton meters when used. The effective thread hole depth is 6 millimeters. So the important part of that is anti-torsion of pole is 8 nm and employing my best English I interpreted that to mean that the uh, torque specification for the screw in the uh, hole on the top of the terminal was 8 newton meters. So I set my torque wrench to 8 newton meters and I promptly stripped three of the holes because they're aluminum, very soft metal. It stripped right out. So I'm in the process of coming up with a uh, method to address that. Okay, so this is my first attempt to fix the uh, stripped threads in the hole in the terminal in the top of the EVE 280 amp hour cells. So um, I'm trying to use studs in all the holes as it seems like that would uh, be a bit less likely to cause problems and hold the uh, terminals or the cables and bus bars on more securely. So I've got 25 millimeter long stainless steel M8 studs and uh, so the first thing I'm doing is uh, I'm putting a regular nut on and then putting a lock nut on the top of that. So these are the lock nuts with the little ridges on them. Uh, can you see that? The headlight's kind of in the way. So those little ridges lock into the metal below them. So I got a regular nut, a lock nut on top. And then I'm just uh, tightening that lock nut onto the regular nut below. So that way I basically have a temporary head on the bolt that I can use to uh, torque it into the hole at a very, very light torque setting. My original problem was that I uh, set this to what I thought was the recommended torque of the EVE cell, which is eight Newton meters, and it was way too much. So um, I've got my torque wrench set to like 10 inch pounds, which is like 1.1 Newton meters. So we'll try that and see, make sure I get some good conductivity. And if I need a little bit more, I'll put a little bit more on them. But for now, that's all I'm willing to go. So uh, what I have here is a hole. I've got JB Weld trying to fix this stripped hole. So you just mix equal parts of these little dealies and it's a uh, epoxy steel reinforced epoxy so i mixed equal parts of the black and the white jb weld i get a gray substance that gives me apparently a few hours of working time before it sets up hard um takes a total of 24 hours to set up completely so i've got a good mix of that here so i'm just taking a dollop and working, I think, hang on a sec. Let me uh, try something here. How's that? Is that lighting better? Seems a little better, huh? That seems a little better. Okay, so I'm just working some JB Weld into the lower threads on there. I want to try and avoid getting any JB Weld on the surface of the terminal because I don't want that to come between the terminal and the cable or the bus bar. And I'm also putting some right on the bottom there. I'm hoping that'll bottom out in the hole and uh, help hold the stud against the bottom of the hole. So I think I got a little bit too much there. I'm gonna wipe some of that off just so that the threads are filled but not overflowing. So now I'll screw that into the hole. That's still a little too much, still too much. Okay, there we go. 
So I'll carefully screw that in the hole and hope I don't get too much of the JB weld on the surface of the terminal. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my torque wrench carefully. Make sure I don't short any of the terminals, or at least any of the important terminals. And uh, hopefully bottom that out in the hole, but not strip it. And there it is, right there. So um, now I just leave that for 24 hours and hopefully I can torque it a bit more or torque the uh, bus bars and the uh, cables on it. So uh, again, it doesn't matter if I, I short out to this terminal because that's a positive like its neighbor. But if I short to those terminals, I'll get sparks. So I'm being very careful. I, I should actually have insulated tools here, but I haven't had time to do that. So. I'm just going to take those nuts off of there carefully. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Shit, okay. There we go. Yeah, it's been one of those days, I'll tell you what. So I'll let that dry for 24 hours and then, uh, fingers crossed, I'll attach the bus bars and the cables and hopefully it'll hold tight. <laughs> That's it.